Greetings! Welcome back to the studio! Ellen, a friend and member of our community, recently sent me these dot cards featuring the new cadmium free, cadmium like colors from Windsor and Newton. I heard a lot about these, so I'm really happy to be able to swatch them and see the colors for myself. Thank you so much, Ellen, for sending these to me. There are eight new colors, formulated to look like the cadmium colors, but without any cadmium in them. The appeal of removing cadmium from paints is that cadmium is mildly toxic, and eliminating it would help making these colors accessible to everyone. That's what I assume, because the cadmium-free paints are still very expensive, so it's not like removing the expensive cadmium pigment from the formula helped with affordability. Also, another thing that I find very odd about these paints is that Windsor & Newton refuses to release the pigment information for these new paints. This is very unusual from a brand of professional paints. The dots on the cards are all a good and consistent size and they re-wet really well. The colors are beautiful, it's a nice selection of yellows, oranges and reds. I quite like these colors, but I doubt I'll ever buy them since they are as pricey as real cadmiums, and I can't afford these either way. I wanted to compare the swatches to real cadmiums, but I don't have many swatches for these colors. I used the swatches from the Sinili range to see how close the cadmium-free colors are to the real thing. They seem to be matching quite close. I like the new colors, but I'm left wondering if people who use cadmium colors will switch over to the use. The rest of us, we might just find them too expensive still. Windsor and Newton, they don't really specify why they made these colors. They only say that they made these without any cadmiums, but they don't really explain what is the advantage of these colors. They don't specify that it's to remove toxicity, they don't say that it's because cadmium pigments are expensive. Anyway, the paint is the same price, so... And they don't share their pigment information, so I am a bit confused by the idea. Other brands like Daniel Smith have been offering cadmium-free paints for a really long time, and I am not quite sure why Windsor & Newton is making such a big fuss about their new cadmium-free colors. Do you use cadmium paints? What do you think of the new use from Windsor & Newton? 
let me know in the comments below. Take care, bye bye.